Yeah, I hit the button. Uh, yeah, response video to Ramillion. So, I'll go through this shit. I'm not gonna argue the Holocaust as stated, though. I'll just argue what I think he's missing. Alright, Gary. This is probably gonna be the last video. I, I hope, I really hope. Yeah, I hope Unless so, too. Unless you say something really stupid in your reply, so please don't do that. Oh, yeah, well, like, you aren't no, doing it. I couldn't let the nonsense... Every time you make a video, you say something stupid. Yeah. Your last video go without some kind of rebuttal. Yeah, go ahead, rebut. Uh, this might be another video that I take down after a short run. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of funny. You nag about me blocking somebody or doing something else, and you, you know, you take down your video, you just deleted everybody's comments. So what's the difference, silly person? Uh, as you say, Gary, nothing on the internet goes away, but what matters to me is what stays up on my channel. Yeah, and that's sort of how I'm looking at it, too. What matters to me is what's on my channel, and so if some asshole is commenting crap on my channel, then, yeah, I'm going to block them. And so you're going to make this into a fucking issue again. Is this, this evidence of something? Well, guess what, Remy? You haven't made shit for videos yet. You don't have any real hardcore haters yet. Um, so it's all just talking out of your fucking ass. I was foolish enough you know, to keep playing with this this little teddy human. Um, like I said, right from the start, he had every ambition to just take whatever little pieces he could take out of me. Not very down a notch, not very down a notch. That's all that's going through his little measly brain. This is a little fucking This is the part he chooses to play. Petty fucker and uh, good riddance asshole. Hang out with uh, S and that. Uh, and that's what I mean when I say it's all about you. You talk a good game about truth, but at the end of the day, isn't it, isn't it often about you? Yeah, well, this is a real silly argument. Um, this is one subject I actually started by saying I only want to talk about this, right? And this is the subject everybody focuses on. So I've made all these videos about all these other subjects, and it's never been about me, you asshole, and you, there's no way you could find the me in the goddamn videos, asshole. But yeah, again, you want to make it into that, because that's to your advantage. Distraction, stay off the subject, red baiting, that's the kind of game you play. And so this is just more of the same crap. We won't argue the argument, we'll argue Gary. And then we'll argue that Gary's arguing Gary, when Gary's not doing any such fucking thing. It doesn't even occur to you that what matters most here is, tr is truth. And you say you have it. To be serious, says she has it. Uh, you're all fucking goddamn authorities, and everybody has to accept your truth. And if they don't, you'll call them a dirty, stinking, rotten, crappy, shitty name, and you'll play their voice over the worst images compiled in human history. Yeah, that sounds fair. Sure. That's why you'll fall out with me or anybody who challenges you on any subject sooner or later. But no, I didn't, I didn't. It's not the challenge, Remy, and you, well, maybe you don't know it. Um, I accept the challenges. I'll argue most things to fucking goddamn death. Um, I don't accept the insult, you fucking cunt. All right? You sit there and go, go make comments on a video that has me just you know, barfing out of my mouth, or with tampons in my fucking ears, or with a swastika on my fucking forehead and a star of David behind me, and you're gonna say, whoa, whoa, what's wrong, Gary? What's, uh, what's the attitude? Yeah, fuck you. Very few exceptions. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe Piero. He seems to have kind of a calming effect on you. But yeah, well, Piero has never violated me in any way. I've never seen Piero commenting on any of these trash videos, asshole. Go find the Piero comments somewhere on any of these subjects, on any of these, these videos that take these cheap, crappy shots. Because, yeah, Piero's about having an argument. He's not about getting involved in this little petty shit drama. All right, you're the drama whore, asshole. You're the one who shows up to make a comment on every fucking drama video made. And I'd be willing to bet he's blocked on your channel. Tell, tell me if I'm right or wrong about that. Uh, well, at the moment, you're wrong. And at the end of the day, the people who stick with you are your slavish droves. 
Those are the ones yeah, right. See, that that's you know such an easy remark to make. You just call everybody a slavage druve. Okay, so I'm just going to call all you, you, you um, Borg members, you know, you're all slavage druves of, uh, you know, um, uh, pop culture and, uh, you know, your little manicured bushes and such. Yeah, you've got it right up your ass. You're a slavage druve of DNA molecule. Slavage druve. Once you can count on to show up and take your side no matter what the issue is. And look, how many of them have I kicked in the fucking cunt? I mean, I really don't give a fuck, all right, about applause or hecklers. I don't want either one. I don't want the fucking audience in the first place. What I'm doing is making a fucking argument, <laughs> all right? It's an argument, and these assholes keep wanting to argue me, all right? That's all. Oh, look at his hair. His hair ain't combed. A couple of those people made comments on my last video, and they're free to comment on this one, too. Not one single person is blocked on my channel. Yeah, right. You're just going to delete all their comments. Fine. Brilliant. But here's the news for you, Gary. It is about truth for me. Accurate history matters to me. It matters a lot. Yeah, well, I don't know how it could possibly matter because there's no such thing as accurate history. There's no such thing as being able to, um, you know, dig up these records and figure out what really was going on, what the real game that was being played was. Um, you know, we still got people thinking, you know, Martians assassinated Kennedy. Uh, so, you know, part of that argument is just silly. Um, and, and it's all over this subject. I mean, of all these little historical events, this one's got the hugest taint of all this political manipulation on it. All this game playing. The record has gone this way and that way. The testimony goes this way, then that way. They, 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 they reverse gears every five fucking years if it's to somebody's advantage. Oh, yeah, I swear. And then five years later, oh, I'll swear exactly the opposite now because it's to my advantage. I mean, that shit is all over this crap. Um, this is, you know, <laughs> this is like, uh, so if I would have, you know, but this is just such a charged issue. If I would have just made a video you know, on, a, on a, a historical subject that I'm more comfortable with, like arguing about why we even had an American Revolution and that it was more about a bunch of uh, rich colonists or wannabe rich colonists saying, ah, we don't want to pay England back anymore. We don't want England to own America anymore. We want to steal it, basically. So it was basically like some Spanish guys, as they're stealing the Inca gold, basically just saying one day, well, fuck sending it back to Spain. Let's keep this shit for ourselves. And that was, yeah, it's more about a trade war than it was about any goddamn thing called freedom. And that means history based in evidence. Here's what you had to say when I took you to task for not engaging with evidence. You took me to task for not engaging with evidence. I don't have any obligation to engage with your fucking evidence. I don't have any obligation to read your books. You have an obligation to make a fucking argument. All right. Uh, I all I did was point out the inconsistencies that exist. You're going to sit there and say, "Well, go read this, go read that, go read this." Well, then I'll just say to you, "I oh, look, there's a whole bunch of truther pages about the Holocaust." I'll point you to those, and I'll say, "Okay, well, undo their counter argument." All right. Well, look, this guy went to the fucking goddamn con concentration camp. Uh, you know, and he caught them lying through their fucking teeth. Uh, what about that, Remy? Uh, you going to account for that? I mean, what the fuck is that shit besides fucking goddamn propaganda then? I mean, if they're lying through their fucking teeth, isn't that called propaganda? And you just said the word truth? So, so who's got credibility here? You're going to say your sources have credibility. I'm going to say, well, look, I, could, I can point you to other people who say they, their credibility is shit. Uh, so you undo it. You're not going to look at my fucking, not that they're mine. Again, like I said, this is not my fucking issue, all right? You go look at it. You go debunk a, a Holocaust denier. Go argue with a Holocaust denier. I'm not. Any, I have no interest in discussing the fucking Holocaust. You still can't fucking get it. You are retarded. I don't have any obligation to do any of this shit because it's not my fucking subject. And that's the difference between somebody who just voices an opinion and a Holocaust denier, okay? Is I don't have any fucking goddamn motherfucking prick agenda, and you goddamn know it. I've never made a, a video on this subject on purpose. I've never, I've, it's not my agenda whatsoever. 
It's only because these other assholes keep throwing it back on the table and saying, you must talk about it, you must explain yourself, you must, must, must say what we must, we, what you read our fucking script or we're going to harass you till the end of fucking time. Here, even you had to laugh at that nonsense. Uh, let's, let's play it again. Yeah, I didn't laugh at it. I'm, I'm laughing at the ludicrousness of this bullshit. The very fact that how many fucking times... Hey, you want me to laugh about how many fucking times do I have to say it to you fucking retards? I am not in the business of debunking your bullshit. Go ahead and believe your bullshit. I don't want the job. I don't want to engage in it. Okay? Fuck you. Fuck off. I've never made a, a video on this subject on purpose. I've never... I've, it's not yeah, you, you can't see that I was laughing at the ludicrous preposterousness of this nonsense. I've made 2,000 videos on purpose saying things like consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, and addiction. Saying those things over and over, and none of you fucking debunkers can make a fucking argument on that fucking subject. No, you'll pick the subject I don't want to talk about. The one I said is a third rail. The one I said nobody can be fucking rational on. So yeah, that's the one you pick to fucking play with. The one I said I don't want to talk about, you fucking dumb cunt. But you do that on purpose, because that's exactly what you're about. It's about Gary. It's about being an irritant. It's about getting under Gary's skin. It's about, like I said, take him down a notch. So yeah, let's play with the stupid Holocaust issue. Fuck you. This is what I mean by about you refusing to take responsibility for your words. I don't have to go and look why, at Why do I have to take any responsibility for them? You don't make every racist take responsibility for his words. It was just a guy the other day made some video, and he's a nice enough guy, but he just kept saying, well, these black people and their welfare, and their black people do this, and the black people do that. Uh, you know, there's people out there saying all kinds of crap. So why are you worried about one goddamn video I made? Evidence, because it's not my issue, and I don't have an agenda, and I didn't deliberately make any videos about it. Even though I made a few of them accidentally. Yeah, well, you can't get how that could happen. You can't get how you, you say something that you just know it's not worth the fucking goddamn trouble. I said it in the goddamn video. I said it's a third rail subject. It can't be discussed rationally. There's no point in anybody opening their mouth, and I foolishly opened my mouth. Like I said, you want to believe, believe whatever the fuck you want to believe. You want to believe that... The American Revolution was something about getting freedom from those evil British, and it wasn't about a bunch of little American colonists who wanted to get to be billionaires and own all the trade. Uh, you want to believe that the, the like I said, I'm not even going to go into those. I'm not going to argue it. I'm just saying a lot of history is complete motherfucking bullshit, and I don't see you correcting any of this other bullshit that's out there. Why is this subject important to you now? Oh, that's right, because Gary talked about it in one video two years ago. And that's also what I mean about your lack of integrity in the argument. Oh, you, the, the, another, another accusation. Oh, you have a lack of integrity in the argument. Even though you, yeah, it's true, you do make hours and hours and hours of videos explaining exactly what you're saying. Uh, yeah, you lack integrity. I, on the other hand, paraphrase and make little raggy comments on videos calling you an anti-Semite and a Holocaust denier. Yeah, bravo. I didn't say your lack of integrity. I said your lack of integrity in this argument. I'm just voice of I don't have to have any integrity in this argument. Like I said, why do I have to have integrity when I preface my remarks with the, the statement that this is just my opinion, these are observations I had growing up hearing about the Holocaust and learning about the Holocaust. This is my experience. This is my, my, I'm, this, these are my doubts and this is where they come from. Uh, that's all. Why, why do I have to defend that? And so I don't need evidence. This, this is the difference. Again, that's your paraphrase. I didn't say I didn't need evidence. I've said I've seen all the evidence I need to see. There's no way. I don't, there's not a, a powerful enough microscope on planet Earth, all right, to sift through all the, the, the shifting tide bullshit that's gone on, okay? The tide has come in and gone out and gone in and gone out so many fucking times. There's no way you're going to be able to reconstruct whatever sandcastles were built on that beach. So you can pretend that you know the history and it's all clear cut. It's all straight line bullshit, but it's not. And I don't care. You can believe it, 
All right, I'm just saying it's bullshit. It's between you and me. It's not education. And contrary to what you said or what you may think, I've never held myself above you because you lack a degree. And I. Well, whatever. I'm still going to say you're an elitist, pompous asshole. So whatever. Never once said, not one time. Believe me, because I have a PhD. I made a one, two-part video on the Holocaust at the specific request of someone. Now, Gary, do you remember who asked me to make that video? Why the Why the fuck would I give a rat's ass? Uh, seriously. And what I said in that video was what I think can be supported by evidence. And before I made it, actually, I took time to kind of reacquaint myself with the subject. Because I wanted to say nothing that the evidence won't support. Yeah. Again, yeah, yeah, but you're you're not gonna. The evidence won't support. That just means that the credible sources, the ones that've been sanctioned by some official, um, you know, agency or or um, a special interest group, uh, have have established. But you're still not gonna undo all the other argument that's out there, and you're certainly not gonna do the simple observation that the the on the credibility scale this subject is has has gone past ludicrous speed okay it is in it is in ludicrous territory in terms of the 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 preposterous um, um, disconnect from credibility for damn sure I didn't say this is my opinion so fuck off uh, well, what you have said, though, is this is my opinion. You must account for my opinion. I don't have to account for your opinion. I don't have to account for your conclusions. I don't have to do any of that stuff because I'm not in the business of debunking it. I'm not in the business of telling you what to believe. I'm not suggesting it. I'm not promoting it. I'm not doing a goddamn thing with it. All I did in, is in a sense of honesty and fairness, when the subject fell in my lap, I didn't just pass it off and 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 say nothing I, I expressed an honest observation and opinion period and you assholes won't leave me alone until I read your script and I invited anyone to chime in and correct me on any inaccuracy and if, if anybody... why why would I be the one to do that as if I was in the business of debunking your bullshit again I'm not in that business I have no interest in that business I have no business I no interest in sifting through you know 50 years of crap and politics and nonsense to figure out which document is a real document which which building is a real building which bullshit is real bullshit whoever does that based on evidence I'll edit the video or I'll take it down and yeah, well, go post it then. To, 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 like I said, there's lots of people out there who probably like to debunk you. So why don't you go find them and have the argument with them? You can argue the Holocaust with a Holocaust denier. That's not what I fucking am, asshole. What I mean by having integrity in the argument. Gary, I'll stack that video up again. again. I'm not in the argument. Your people are the ones in the argument. You're the one that says everybody must believe in our fucking theory of this truth, and we won't leave them alone until they do. Everyone you've ever made on that on this subject. If anybody cares to see it, it's you know, still up on my channel. I've, uh, by the way, I've taken down some of the videos that address you, Gary, including that Jones R. Case video that seems to piss you off. Eight months later. I'd rather you left it the fuck up, okay? Because it was a perfect example. Now you've just ruined more continuity. You've just destroyed historical evidence. You've just, you know, bent the argument again. I thought it was great. Leave that video up because it demonstrates what a fucking asshole you are. All right? And you don't even know the difference between probable and, and um, plausible. Um, it's gone. But, uh, the, but that Holocaust video is staying up. Uh, as an example of, I, of how I think, um, we ought to discuss a serious issue in a serious way. Go ahead. Discuss it all the fuck you want. Again, I want out of the discussion. I have no interest in going through some argument. and Like, like, like to be serious, put the question, you know? That's when I knew this was going to be so fucking awful is when, you know, somebody's pretending to be Jewish and now they say, are you calling my grandfather a liar? 
and then you have to say, well, look, okay, let's hear the detailed story your grandfather has, and let's try to connect it to the real facts. And let's see if he could see what he's saying he saw. Let's see if that what he's saying he saw actually existed at the time he was in the fucking goddamn building. Yeah, let's do a credibility check. Okay, so yeah, and then so what, where, where do you go with that, okay, when you start having to call somebody's mama a big fat pig then, right? Isn't that where we are then? So how the fuck can you have a goddamn fucking conversation when people are doing that kind of bullshit? So, so what are you talking about? Are you calling my grandfather a liar? Are you calling my cat a skanky cunt? Well, fuck you. Your dogs are smelly toads. And by the way, Gary, here's an example of how not to do it. Oh, yeah, what evidence? That's the whole fucking point, you dumbass. How can I engage with evidence that doesn't fucking exist? Oh, yeah, let's forensically uh, dissect the reconstructed gas chambers and analyze them for cyanide. How would that be? Yes, the reconstructed gas chambers, let's analyze them forensically. There, let's back up to create some evidence. Fuck you. You're wrong about that. I know what you're getting at, by the way. Um, who knows where you picked this up, but I know what its ultimate source is. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So here we go. We're gonna we're gonna argue the Holocaust some more. So you're gonna say there's an authentic gas chamber um, that exists. Well, I don't know why it wasn't in my history book in high school and why it wasn't in my grammar school book. You know what they had in my book? A picture of a lampshade, a bar of soap, and a shower head. Now, so if these gas chambers existed, I don't know why in 1975. They didn't have a picture of one of them. Some years ago, uh, an amateur Holocaust denier by the name of Fred Victor uh, illegally took some samples. He stole some samples from sites including the, the, uh, the ruins of the crematoria at Auschwitz-Birkenau, and he subjected them to laboratory analysis. Uh, and he claimed that they showed no evidence of exposure to cyanide. Unfortunately, he didn't have any training in chemistry, and he misinterpreted the results. Uh, the experiment was repeated by a, a competent professional team. Ah, Shroud of Turin, right? That's where we are now. Now we're at the Shroud of Turin. That's right. So, yeah, those those scientists, first scientists, got it all wrong. So, yeah, let's get our popey scientists to look at it. Fuck you. Which showed that the crematoria ruins do show exposure to cyanide, which is just what had been found back in 1945. I'll, uh, by the way, I'll put a oh, oh, yeah, put a link, put a link, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so you're claiming the crematoria weren't rebuilt. You're claiming they have enough cyanide present um, to indicate crematoria, right? Not, not delousing, but crematoria. You didn't even establish any of this shit. Link, a wiki link to all that below. And how do I know this, Gary? Uh, I learned all that two and a half years ago at the time you started this shit storm. Again, well, I didn't actually start it, okay, right? So, so, so a guy makes a video, and he says, man, the whole cost is a big pile of shit, and blah, 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 blah. Nobody gives a fuck, right? But Gary responds to that video, all right? And that's the shit storm. So that's the big joke here, is the guy who really started this didn't pay any price at all for it. Figured, you know, maybe I'd better go and look into the matter before I started making statements about it. And I did. I looked at uh, both the arguments of the Holocaust deniers and the counter-arguments, uh, with particular attention to the way they were using evidence. Uh, and by the way, fortunately, there are some extremely talented amateur historians who make it their business to counter... Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. See, this is all... Remy's given them the seal of approval. See, these are the qualified analyzers of the evidence. This is the disqualified group. And Remy knows the difference because he has a big, long nose, and he can smell them, and he just gives them a sniff, and he tells us which ones are telling the truth. I've seen people do that in movies. Yeah, they smell somebody and say, Oh, yeah, you're a liar. The deniers. Uh, because, alas, uh, academic historians just aren't rewarded for doing that particular task. I'll put a link to a really good website below. Anyway, no, I've got the Remy seal of approval, too? Oh, boy! I can't wait! At, at that time, I urged you to go and look at the arguments, too. And you know what your response was? Verbatim. Why should I? 
Jerry, I hope you Exactly. Why the fuck should I? Why should I? Why the fuck should I? Again, why should... Oh, that's right, so I waste my time on a subject I have no interest in discussing. I mean, you people think it's goddamn important. Okay, yeah, well, millions of people were not mistreated and abused and and horribly killed slowly and and methodically through um, you know, all kinds of uh, evil little intents and purposes. No, they were gassed. Quickly. Quickly exterminated through gas chambers. Oh, please. And, you know, and again, why? Yeah, I'm not going to repeat this simple argument, but if you're going to kill people first, if you're going to basically work them to death first, you really don't need a gas chamber to kill them. So that question has dawned on you by now. In order to avoid making a fool of yourself. And here's the harm. Oh, again, it's just so, you know, bad. In order to avoid making a fool of yourself. That's just such ad hom crap. It's not an argument, butt shit. All of this. Now, take the example of the Luther Report. A guy publishes a bunch of pseudo scientific babble claiming there's no forensic evidence of cyanide in the crematoria. You don't have a crematoria. You can keep saying you have one. You don't have one. Those claims are eagerly seized upon by the denier subculture. They get repeated again and again. They become meme. Again, okay. Like I said, okay. So just explain to me what what was the the propaganda, the malicious, cr horrible, evil people? Explain to me why my high school uh, 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 history book. Uh, didn't have a picture of the crematoria in it. Explain why it wasn't there. Then it doesn't matter uh, whether they've been refuted or not. Uninformed people are going to hear about them from somewhere and, gonna, and they're going to repeat them. Yeah, well, like I said, why don't you go argue with them, okay? There's people who want to argue about this, who have an incentive or a reason to give a fuck, okay? I don't. I know millions of people were killed horribly. There. Oh, I'm done. I'm finished with the subject. You assholes care about this minutia? You go ahead and care, okay? I don't give a fuck. Including one guy in New, in New Jersey with a few thousand subscribers. And the result is that our collective intellect is diminished by just that little amount. Oh, right. Uh, yes, certainly. If we don't have this, this minutia cut down to the thinnest lines, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, but you then you assholes will sit there on a subject like gun rights. You'll sit there and say, oh, you know, they put that part in there with the militia and stuff. Oh, that, that was just they had some extra ink in the pen, you see. They're, they're a little, because they wrote with feathers, you to see. And so they had some extra ink in the, in the feather, and they just wanted to use it up. So they just put those little extra words in there just to use up the ink. That's your give a fuck about the historical record. That's your give a fuck about the truth, is you'll just completely discount it when it's to your advantage or to your purposes. And when it's not, yes, yes, yes. So again, we're just back to the simple truth that whoever wins the war gets to write the history. So you wrote your fucking history. You're all satisfied with it. I'm perfectly satisfied satisfied to let you delude yourself whatever theories you fucking want to have it's your business I'm satisfied with the idea that World War II really really fucking sucked that Adolf Hitler really really fucking sucked that the bigotry that that segregated the Jews was the first um, crime that had an inevitable end whether it was in a gas chamber or whether it was death through through attrition and and malnutrition and 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 uh, uh, um, work to death it didn't matter once you segregate them they're dead that's the historical record segregation leads to death that's the historical record it's a, a small defeat for intelligence and a small victory for the same mentality that produces Holocaust hopes conspiracy theories JFK assassination conspiracy theories, 9-11 conspiracy theories. Well, again, you unfortunately are on that side. You have the, the ex sort of extraordinary claim, and you're the ones that don't want to have to defend it with extraordinary or substantial evidence. You want to say, well, look, you know, put a few of these cigar photos together, and it's a chain of cigar reasoning, and uh, yeah, it's all okay. Don't worry about it. Don't, don't detail me tales. You know, you get the basic idea. Um, look, we rebuilt the building. You can see it. Go look at the rebuilt building. It'll, it'll tell the story. 
I mean, Jerry, think, think about the damage that Oliver Stone film did with its lies piled on top of lies. A majority of Americans believe that there was a conspiracy to, to kill Kennedy. Yeah, well, the majority of Americans believed all kinds of crap before they watched the movie. So that's the whole fucking problem, okay? They want to believe it. They want to believe there's some other story than some lunatic, okay, um, uh, uh, took out a president. So, yeah, they want to believe the story is grander and deeper, just like they want to believe their own story of life on Earth is grander and deeper. Um, duh. Although there's no credible evidence to support it. Is that a bad thing? I would have... Again, you know, you're saying what's the good, what's the bad. Um, I'm saying if we get the basic story right, okay, who cares about the layers of bullshit that are piled on top? So if we understand the American Revolution that, okay, yeah, these guys sort of did manipulate people. They got them all motivated for a revolution by selling a lie. Basically, that you know they weren't going to be win. They weren't going to be the winners in the war. The real winners in the war were going to be the people who got to you know be the importers and sell the products and own the resources and make the uh, property deals and all the other crap that you know went with it. Here, I would have thought you of all people would say yes. And finally, here's what why this matters to me, and I don't expect you to understand this. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't understand much, uh, like I said, of any of this, this, the game you play, except the part that seems quite obvious to me, which is, um, yeah, it really is about Gary. It's not about the subject. It's about the person. It's the messenger. It's all about the messenger. I'm um, antagonistic, and... Um, it's fun to watch the antagonistic fall or some kind of thing like that. I mean, it's just, you know, I'm the Goliath. I'm the monster, and, you know, people want to see if they can knock it down. Uh, but everything that we know about the past, beyond our immediate recollections, is the work of historians gathering and interpreting evidence. It's the hardest job imaginable. And, 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 you know, look, not to concede that these people have often have an agenda is just silly, especially on the subject of the Holocaust. You disparage history and historians, just, just like you did me in that video. I don't care if you're wrong. Uh, the I mean, yeah, well, look, I've disparaged the history for, you know, a long, long, long time, historians, because, yeah, I think they've dropped the ball all over the place. Of the past that all these historians have built up from evidence is one of the most precious resources of our civilization. Without it, we'd be at the mercy of, of legends and myths. And fair yeah, well, like I say, I think a lot of the history is legends and myths, okay? I mean, come on, they write this history as if this man did it, this president was this, and actually it had nothing to do with the president, it had to do with the 15 advisors who developed all the plans and did all the work. I mean, this is, there's just no point in talking about it. And like I said, as long as the general picture is, is, is reason-based, then who the fuck cares? I don't, again, I don't, there's, I just see no purpose in arguing the minutiae of these histories. What's important is recognizing the patterns and the really important issue and to me again I will go back to it now say over and over and over again the important issue was the bigotry and the segregation if people could understand that if they can understand that that's what makes it all possible then then there's no then, then you have made it never again but it will be again if you sit there and think the wrong if, if you're accusing the wrong criminal and anybody could claim anything or deny anything about the past for whatever reason or motive, good or ill, and nobody could counter it except by saying, well, that's your opinion, here's mine. And that's the world your actions are building, in this case, whether you intend it or not. Well, whatever, I guess I didn't get that because that didn't sound so horrible. That's right, people should be, are entitled to their opinion on some subjects. If they're going to use something to somehow cause somebody pain if we were arguing about what the law should be well then yeah then you've got to you've got to be in the game all right uh, but this isn't about the law this isn't about anything i don't have anybody's nothing is in the the balance here all right except my own personal 
um, opinion. And again, you don't have enough. You don't. There's not enough. All right. You might think you have. Uh, uh, you know, some some the balance has tipped for you, but it's not strong enough tipping to justify this obnoxious and arrogant insistence that everybody speak your speak. You can't do that on this subject, and that's my, I find that incredibly offensive. I find that incredibly dangerous. That's the Orwellian nightmare of, um, you know, compliance and, and Borg mentality. I didn't, I didn't say all the time or most of the time, but in this case, that's where your words and your actions are tending. All right, well, enough about this. Yeah, well, whatever. I think you're a far, you're, you're a grander menace to the future than I am, okay? You're the, you're, you're the one who's going to have to be buried on the ash heap of history. So, yeah, we could even go back to Khrushchev. Wasn't that, look at that lie and how that lie just just dominated politics because Khrushchev said he's going to fucking take a bulldozer and bury us in the ground. Uh, you know, and what he said was, yes, when it's all said and done, history will demonstrate that your greed and your capitalism is crap and that the rational, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, uh, economics was something different. And so, but of course, it was just perverted and distorted because people had um, a, a, a personal motivations. So where was that history cared for? Who, what truth was there in that argument? And fuck you. I mean, you know, you do it. Well, I'm not even going to get into the whole Marx thing. But yeah, your whole critique of Marx was bullshit. As if Marx had something to say about um, uh, 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 anything but how capitalism will fall on its ass. Okay, I guess we're done. Yeah, thankfully. All right, so another half hour of this shit. Sorry. Um, didn't think I'd go on that long. Just thought I'd get it over with. Uh, but again, I'll say I have no interest in discussing the details of the Holocaust. You are perfectly entitled to be considered reasonable and um, uh, competent um, if you believe that uh, six million people were deliberately exterminated through the predominant use of cyanide gas in crematoria. Okay? You want to believe that? Go ahead and believe it. <laughs> the end.